Hello, this is Joe Bloffus with CNB Operations, Precision Act Consultant, covering the St. James, Truman, and Jackson areas. Today we're going to be talking about AutoPath, tips and tricks, and installation on how to run it. The wiring harnesses that are needed for AutoPath are the constant unswitched power harness. Be sure that this is hooked up. If it is not, you may have problems seeing the implement receiver on your monitor. Next would be the receiver harness that is connected to the receiver and to the CAN system below the CCS tanks of the planter. Last would be the receiver adapter harness that is connected from the receiver to the receiver harness. We can now go into offsets under the menu, applications, and equipment manager. Be sure to go to the tractor and the implement and be sure that all offsets are entered into those pieces of equipment. Also on the planter, be sure to go into that and scroll all the way down and we can be sure that the implement receiver is on here and enter any needed offsets. For AutoPath to work you have to make sure that you have the Automation 4.0 bundle and the latest software update to 20-3 or 21-1. In here, I'll show you how to find that. Go to Menu, System, Software Manager, Activations, and here's our Auto Path, and it is green, which means it's active. You can also go down to the system information here, and here we can see that our software is 20-3. This would be the minimum needed for Auto Path. For AutoPath to perform correctly, we have to make sure that both receivers are talking to each other and are sharing signal. One way to look that up is if you go down to Guidance, if we go up to the Advanced Settings, and if we scroll down, we see that Shared Signal is on. That means one receiver can have RTK or SF3 and the other one can share that signal even if the implement receiver is on SF1. After turning on shared signal, we can go up to the receivers and see that there's a chain link on the implement receiver, which means that it is sharing the signal from the 6000 receiver and both can run off of RTK. And be sure that you have the latest software version at least 4.4n, 4.4p, or 4.5p. After documenting your planting, you can now actually go into Operations Center and make sure that all lines have been added to Operations Center. There's two ways of doing this. You can either upload them through a USB or you can have them sent through the MTG in your tractor. First thing to check is if you go up in the right hand corner, you can actually check to make sure that AutoPath is on. So if you go to your organization and organization preferences, click the wheel, go to settings, and scroll all the way down to auto path. We want to make sure this option is turned on. An important thing to remember about auto path is the 4600 and 4640 will not display that auto path is recording. It automatically records in the background. So a way to check this is go into Operation Center, Setup, Setup File Creator, we can now go to Display Type and select our 4600 or 4640. And we're going to send this to our sprayer. We're going to create new. We can then click start. We will go down to guidance and auto path. And auto path, our select source operation will be our most recent seeding. And this will bring up our most recent seating. And you're going to look for this icon here. These will be your auto path lines.
Next, we'll go to the equipment, and we want to select our equipment. So we're going to choose our sprayer. Be sure you have an implement for your sprayer and a 90-foot boom. Click Next. Add any products that you want. Next, we'll choose our operator. And we'll go to Summary. Here you can see that we have 18 fields, zero guidance lines, zero flags, but auto path, we have 18 of them. Remember, if you want to go back, you can also add your other guidance lines with your auto path lines. We then create the file, select the equipment that we want to either send it to, or we can create without sending, and download this to a USB stick to bring it out to the machine. Thanks for watching this week's Technology Thursday. I'm Joe Bloffus with CNB Operations, your John Deere dealer of choice.